so with not one but two EV conversion projects in various stages of disrepair, I somehow still could make my way around this garage floor, although things escalated fairly quickly. So I decided to do the right thing. I decided to do the right thing and acquire more EV crap. That's right, gentlemen. These are two Lexus GS450H transmissions. One is from the third gen, same thing as in my truck, and the other one is from fourth gen. So I'm doing this on purpose to see if the zombie can control the fourth gen transmission and inverter and or if we can use the third gen inverter with the uh, fourth gen transmission or some combination of the two. So this is a fourth gen inverter. It does have a different unobtainium plug than the third gen. I also purchased another third gen inverter. I want to have a separate setup on a workbench or on the garage floor than my production, which is in the truck. I want to keep the truck functioning and running. I've learned my lesson the hard way, trying to go back and forth. There's the transmission harness, which is called engine wire. This is for the fourth gen. It's out of a 2013. And the reasoning here being is that if we can also use parts out of the fourth generation Lexi, then that opens more possibilities to conversions because the, the third gen is only 2007 to 2011. So what is that, four years? So I ended up buying a separate oil pump that's buried here somewhere. Okay, because I also got a good deal on that. These oil pumps, these electric electric oil pumps, run more than the actual transmissions. Oh, and I'm just noticing this one came with a harness. This is incredible score. So happy with that. And there was some gorilla ing. I think. The new transmission from the 4th gen hasn't been bastardized in terms of the cooling lines, so I'm happy with that. I'll show you as a comparison what they do with these. See how these are cut right there? That's okay. I may uh, not run external oil coolers anyway, but yeah, so... And then both of these have oil pumps, but the oil harnesses were cut. So I just realized that at least the spare oil pump that I got has a harness. So I'll have at least one. And all I really need now is just the fourth gen inverter wire harness with that unobtainium plug. I also have two external oil pump controllers there. One of them has a friend's name on it, but at least I'll have one. Maybe that'll be interchangeable. So yeah, I have some big ambitions. I'm hoping to focus on coming up with some sort of an idea, not necessarily a kit, but some sort of an idea for American muscle classic car conversions, because these transmissions really lend themselves to live rear axles, you know, um, non-independent suspension rear axles because you don't need to mate a motor to a standard transmission using some sort of adapter plate. These transmissions are essentially gear reducers, about 
five to one ratio and they're just perfect so yeah guys thank you for uh dealing with the shaking cam video here catch you later